All right, let's talk about Awaken PoE Trade. It is a very, very important tool in PoE. It is free. It's a little bit complex to set up compared to some other stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and just look for Awaken PoE Trade on Google. We're gonna click the GitHub link and we're gonna go ahead and click down here, download for Windows and Linux. You're gonna go ahead and install it and then you're going to run it. After you do that, you're gonna hit Shift Space to open the overlays, the settings. This cog right here is gonna take you into the settings. Now, going through all these other settings in here, that's for another video. We'll do an advanced video at some point. But for now, we're gonna to go to price check. You're gonna set what league you're on. And I personally like to have it show sellers based on their account name. And down here, these are some important things. Perform an auto search when pressing. I have it off for control D because what happens is if you take your cursor off of the window, it drops it, you do it again. Maybe you're looking up a lot of things. Maybe you're changing the settings, changing the filters. What ends up happening is you get timed out from doing too many searches on Awaken PoE Trade. So I like to have this off. And then the extra 10 seconds here is pretty helpful as well. So once you have that set up, we're going to hit control D on an item. And in here, these are the settings. We could change the values of these. So when I moused over search, so normally it would search it immediately, but the way I have it set up, it doesn't. So when I mouse over search, it's going to show me prices. Now with this, this is a common mistake people make. So usually if it wasn't a max roll, you would just check it and you would search for a couple points below. But with this, since this is a max attributes, max leeching, we'll tighten that up. And we could see that it's around 50 chaos value there. But there's a lot of other features with this. We can also that corrupted, not corrupted. We could check the currency exchange rate in the top left corner there. We can disable some of these modifiers. There's also hidden modifiers that we can enable or disable as well. A lot of this you don't need to worry about, but it's there. If you want to look at the pricing history, you can click the graph in the top right corner here. And that'll take you to uh, PoE Ninja and you can see where its trends are at. And for these here, you know, a cluster for instance. Now, if I search this just by hitting search, it's gonna tell me this is cheap. So this is a very important thing here. We're gonna click the level in the top left corner. And we're gonna notice this is actually divine because there's a big difference from I-84 and up and below. Um, base item, we can also check here the base item and that'll highlight everything. And then for something fractured, same thing. If we notice, there's no fracture option here. So what we're gonna do with this is we can click base item. That's gonna automatically select the specific base that it is. And it's going to uh, select fractured for us. So we can check the value of fractured boots specifically here. And again, there's lots of little things you can do here with this. But that's basically how to use it to price an item. And most importantly, if you want to know, okay, these are the prices it says, but what's on those, you can click this here, and that's going to go ahead and open it up in a window for you. And now we can see, okay, at what point are these crafted? Because that's obviously a huge difference in value. If these were actually crafted at that price, well, then ours would be worth a lot less. We can see that they're not crafted, though. So that would give us a good idea of what ours was worth. Now, we will have a advanced Awaken PoE trade video coming up in the future, teaching you how to use the regexes, the searches, and some of the other settings it has. But that should be enough for now to uh, help you get you know, Awaken PoE up and running, to help you price those items a little bit more accurately. We will have some videos coming soon on how to know if you underpriced an item, how to uh, properly price like rares and stuff like that, and lots of other videos coming up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a fantastic day. Links are in the description.